Welcome to Kenny 2, where we do random stuff like guessing the NBA player by their draft comparison. I hit our producer Kev and I said, yo, go to NBADraft.net, pick a random player and give us one strength, one weakness, and the player that they will compare to and see if we can see the same things that the scouts saw in order for us to, to get it right. You understand what I'm saying? Great. If you have other ideas that you want to see me send a producer Kev, hit the link in the description and suggestion box and I'm always looking in there. Every time I mention producer Kev, everybody's asking where's producer Josh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, producer Josh graduated from being a producer of this channel. He, he's a producer for House of Highlights. He's got his own YouTube channel with 200,000 subscribers. Like, he's doing his own thing. So, it's, I, I didn't fire producer Josh. He didn't leveled up, okay? Because I've been seeing that in the comment section like crazy recently. Shout out to y'all for remembering producer Josh, all right? Y'all might have known him before because he, before he was my producer, he was making YouTube. And either way, shout out to Josh. So, this first player was compared to Julius Randle. He has good size and length for his position, standing 6'10", 250. That is a really, really good clue. Look for players, think about players that are tall and almost 300, 300 pounds. For all of his offensive gifts, has room to improve defensively and maybe better than decent on the defensive end. Now, another portion of this quiz is he gives you the year that the person was drafted. So I'm looking for somebody from this past draft class that might have been compared to Julius Randle, <clears throat> who is 6'10", 250, and not great defensively. I'm going to guess this is Paolo Bancaro. Thank you. Give me my point. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We were one for one. Next guy was compared to Sean Kemp and David Robinson. I already have an idea who this is. Fits the profile of a physical freak and a generational center. I already know who this is. Can I get extra points if they don't even tell me who draft class it is? For a player with such an elite physical gifts, his shot blocking ability is curiously average. Though he seems to improve as he proved as his freshman season progressed, I, I can't read. Um, I think this is DeAndre Aiden. Before I even see, before I even see who his who his uh, draft class is, 2018. Yeah, this is gonna be DeAndre Aiden. I vividly remember saying that he was the next D Rob, or people say he was the next D Rob. Um, and it's only been four years. He's got he got he got his bag. You know what I'm saying, DeAndre Aiden? Thank you. This player is compared to Dwayne Wade. Okay. That is a strong, strong comparison. A strong, heady point guard with great size and instincts. So a point guard compared to Dwayne Wade. Release slowed by bringing the ball down to his knees before rising up and releasing. So he's got a slow release. He's a point. Give me a year. 2014 draft. Strong, heady point guard with great size and instincts. 2014 draft who was in that draft class that would have been Dwayne Wade release slowed by bringing the ball to his knees before raising up and releasing so the jump shot is slow I don't know in what draft class 2014 so now I got to start thinking about who was in what draft classes I don't know oh my god yes it was Marcus Smart of course it was Marcus Smart I'm bad that that yeah that's that's an L that's an L I should have been able to get that one right. Okay, we redeem ourselves. Vince Carter and Rudy Gay is a crazy comparison. Lateral quickness and length also gives him great potential as a perimeter defender, along with versatility to guard both to guard both wings positions effectively. While some scouts are extremely high on him, there are just as many that question his focus and passion for the game. It's 2014 as well. So Marcus Smart's draft class, who would have been Vince Carter and people questioned his passion for the game? This is Wicks. Thank you. Thank you. So that's a good redemption. Okay. Eddie Curry and Ben and Ben and Ben Wild Benson B Benjamin? I don't even know who that is. Ben Wild Benjamin, man. Okay. An underrated athlete, despite lacking great explosiveness. He's extremely nimble and dext dexterous and for such a huge man. He tends to lose his head looking disinterested or frustrated and think if things don't go his way. What year? No way. No way they did this to, to the mans. Eddie Curry and Benoit Benjamin? Who is Benoit Benjamin? I have literally no idea who ben Benoit Benjamin is. But I started to get a clue when they said he was disinterested and frustrated if things don't go his way, right? 2010 is the draft class of DeMarcus Cousins. 
an underrated athlete despite lacking explosiveness. That sounds like Boogie. He's extremely nimble and dexterous for a, such a huge man. That's a book. It's got to be book. Thank you. That's great. No, that's this all-time hater moment. That's Eddie Curry? Eddie Curry and Benoit Benjamin, who we've never heard of, is crazy. Okay, next one. Antoine Jameson. Okay. Athletic forward and smart decision maker with a versatile skill set. Needs to continue to improve his one-on-one -on -one skills and ability to create off the dribble in order to enhance his shooting and scoring ability. 2019 draft. Who would have been looked at to be Antoine Jameson? So, of course, we're talking about a forward with some size. Size and scoring. Like, that's Antoine gave people buckets. I have no idea. Am I... I, I don't know if I'm getting my draft classes right, first of all. It was 2019. I feel like I should remember everybody in this draft class. But I'm going to guess, like, I was going to say Obi. But I feel like they were they would give Obi somebody that's more explosive. And I also don't even know for sure if Obi's in 2019 or 2020. I don't have a guess. Rui Hachimura gets the, the Antoine Jameson comparison coming out of Gonzaga. I was not going to get that right. All right. I'll take my L. Next one. Alonzo Ball and Dante Exum. So, tall guard who passes well and defends well, I guess. Uses his size. Uses height to his advantage. Uh, showing outstanding court vision and flashing. Flashes ability. Difficult shot. Pa difficult passing and shots. Hey, I'm struggling. Shooting. Fundamentals are somewhat crude when spotting up. Shoots a push shot with little elevation. Shoots a push shot with little elevation. Crude jump shot. Great passer. That sounds like my boy Tyrese Halliburton. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we back on track. Use his sophomore season. That is a huge clue. Somebody that stayed in college for more than one year to add new dimensions to his game. And he proved to be steady and consistent scoring threat. Does not pose the, a great size that many at his position. 2009. Whoa, we're kicking it all the way back to 2009. Kicking it all the way back to 2009. Manu and Brandon Roy. I kind of looked over that. The only person that comes to mind when I'm thinking Manu Ginobili in 2009 is James Harden. They have this tendency that if you're a left-handed player, they're going to compare you to left-handed players. If you're a white player, they're going to compare you to white players. I'm going to go James Harden. Thank you. Thank you, James. Come on, we back on track. Kenny Anderson. Interesting. Plays with cockiness and confidence that is necessary to succeed at the top level. Okay. He can be pushed around by bigger and stronger guards and is least efficient at penetrate, penetrating because he can't absorb contact in 2009 as well. Kenny Anderson in 2009. A couple of heavy hitters in 2009's draft class, man. Cockiness and confidence. Cockiness and confidence. But he can be pushed around by smaller guards. This feels not right. First of all, 2009 draft class. Is this the one I'm thinking about? I got an idea, but I'm not going. It's Brandon. Okay, so that's not who I was thinking. That's not who I was thinking. Okay, Brandon Jennings. All right, we'll take my L. Wally Zerviak and Joe Harris. So it's a white player. Mature, focused, four-year college player with tremendous shooting ability. May take some time to adjust to the quickness, athleticism of play players at the next level, particularly on the defensive end, 2021. So, a, a four-year college player from 2021 that's white. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, listen, I've been doing this draft comparison stuff for a very long time. I, I know if you have two white comparisons, the, the, it's going to be a white hooper. In 2021, the only one that comes to mind that's also four years is Corey Kisper. Which makes sense with his tremendous shooting ability. Corey Kisper, absolutely. Corey Kisper is an enjoyer of basketball, if you didn't know. Bargnani and Pau Gasol. Who, 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 come on, man. You, I, I got an idea already. Uh, it's not easy to find a legit seven foot with great length and high level athleticism. He has a narrow frame within shoulders, sort of like Joe Kim Noah had. So adding bulk and carrying will be a par, 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 paramount. Would be paramount. 2015. 7 footer 2015 has got to be Porzingis. Bargnani because of the shooting. Powell be... Yeah, okay. Yeah, come on, man. I'm telling you, bro. The comparisons tell a lot. 
a lot. JJ Hickson and Bo Outlaw, we are not getting this right. His 7-3 wingspan strength and fero ferocity, ferocious attitude allows him to wreak havoc on the glass in the NCAA level. Poor free throw shooter shot 59.7% of his shots at the charity strike in 2004-2015. And that was his career high. So 2015 NBA draft, who could have been JJ or Bo Hickson. Um, he wrecked havoc. He wrecked havoc on the glass. Poor free throw shooter in 2000. I said I said I did a little more research about my draft uh, classes, bro, because I be getting them mixed up. I be one year off on everything. I'm I'm getting just as many wrong as I am right. Hopefully y'all still enjoying it and you getting them right alongside me because I mantra. I was never gonna guess mantra Hero. out of Louisville. I was never gonna guess that. Uh, Jason Richardson and Jimmy Butler. Ooh, I I got an idea, kind of. What year? 2016. Got an idea. Wing with great physicals, physical and athletic tools with potential on both ends of the floor. Shot selection was definitely an issue. Would settle for jump shots far too often. A steal was not very consistent from long range. With those comparisons, I think it was Jalen Brown. It was. And that is the last one. Jalen Brown. So I got one wrong, two wrong, three, oh man, four, oh boy. I got four out of what, 10 wrong? Yeah, I'm bad. I'm trash. I'm washed. I'm bad at draft comparisons. You can say it in the comments.